Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today, we are gonna make a stuffed pork tenderloin wrapped in bacon with some steamed veggies. So let's get cooking. For our ingredients, we're gonna have a pork tenderloin. It's about 2.6 pounds. Bacon, some steamed veggies. Don't judge, I've got a story. Feta cheese, cream cheese, onion powder, parsley, minced garlic, and salt and pepper. To get started, you're gonna take your pork tenderloin out of the package, get it put on your pan. If it's not already sliced, you need to cut it down the middle so that you can put your filling in there. So ours came in two halves. What we're gonna do is cut them down the middle. That way we can put our stuffing in the middle and it'll stay together. So once you have your pork loin butterfly, just like that, just leave it open. We're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side and get our mixing bowl. That's when you're gonna add your cream cheese. You want it to be softened, that way it's easier to work with. You're just gonna put the whole block of cream cheese right in this bowl and then add your seasonings. This is gonna be one of those super easy meals, guys. It takes a long, it takes a little while to cook, but the prep time is really simple. So if you can prep this ahead of time, put it in your fridge, and you can just throw it in the oven when you get home, like that might work out best for you. Once you have your cream cheese in here, you're gonna add two teaspoons of onion powder, three teaspoons of parsley, and four cloves of garlic minced. After that, you're gonna add your salt and pepper to taste. And I get a lot of comments about the tools that I use. I just want you guys to know they're always linked down below and you can use our Amazon affiliate link. And that actually helps our channel because I get a percentage um, of any order that you place. So any help is greatly appreciated. So we're just gonna do probably two dashes of salt and about two dashes of pepper. I know you guys love this salt and pepper. Again, it's down below, linked. Then you're just gonna mix this all together. This is one of those meals that everybody's gonna think that it took you so long and that you were just like a gourmet chef. Let them think that. You know, rub some flour on your apron, make it look like you really worked hard on this. They're gonna love it. I think everybody loves this. The kids. And the cool thing is, is it's gonna have, it's like a one sheet meal almost because we're gonna have our vegetables right on the same pan. So easy cleanup. This is what your consistency is gonna look like. It smells so good. If you wanna add other seasonings, girl, go ahead, add your seasonings. That's fine, you do you, do you okay? Once we get this on our pork tenderloin, then we're gonna add the feta cheese. Mm-hmm, it's gonna make it so good. All right, so you're just gonna take your dip, spread it across your tenderloin. Now, don't be, don't be shy. There's enough to go around. Everybody's gonna get some love but you want it to be good to where when you cut it, everybody's gonna get some in every bite. If you're trying to watch what you're eating, guys, this is a really good thing because it's better than red meat. Pork tenderloin's gonna be your lighter meat um, for you. So obviously the cream cheese, you could get the half fat or something like that, lower fat cream cheese. You could use less cream cheese. You might even be able to use, I don't know if I would do yogurt, but if you wanna do yogurt, if you've used yogurt, comment down below, let me know, is that good? Have you done the yogurt thing? But this would be considered a keto friendly recipe because there's no sugars. So there you go. All right, now we've got all of our filling in our tenderloin. We're gonna take our feta cheese, sprinkle on top, reduce fat, cause I care. I don't know that they don't make a feta cheese that isn't reduced fat. I just noticed the X on my hand. That's from my makeup videos, guys. So that's showing my eyeliner. 
That's why I have that on there. I forgot to take it off. All right. Next up is your bacon. Again, if you don't want to do this part, you don't have to. But this is what we like to do. We're going to close the tenderloins up, wrap them in bacon, and then put it in the oven. Like, it's that simple. So, again, pre-make this. Put it in your fridge. No one will ever know. They'll think you've been working on it all day long. And you can go watch soap operas and stuff or YouTube channels. I know a really good one. Fathering Autism, if you haven't checked them out, you should. We've got our bacon wrapped around it. We've got our oven preheating to 400. You're gonna cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, we are going to throw a little salt and pepper on, just for good measure. Not a lot. Like I said, cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. And you need that internal temperature to reach 145 degrees. That's going to be like a rare, medium rare. If you want it to be about a medium, which is what I prefer, that's going to be around 160. Obviously, when you take it out and you let it rest, it is gonna cook, it's gonna go up a little bit in temperature. So make sure you get that internal temp, 145. Don't want anybody to get sick. Don't say that I didn't warn you. All right, guys, let's get this in the oven so we can have our house smelling good. Like I said, everybody's gonna think you just worked all day on this. smells so good it looks so good now now I've got a little trick for you okay today we don't have fresh vegetables but that's okay we just need vegetables for our family and to make this dish look really really pretty so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some steamer vegetables pop them in the microwave steam them up you're gonna make it look awesome and it doesn't matter because it's vegetables all right don't beat yourself up if you don't have time to go to the grocery it's okay have these in your freezer all the time they're always bogo okay little tip for you our veggies they they smell really good so these come sauced you don't have to do anything to them after you steam them and then i'm just gonna put them around the pork loin and make it look pretty it's gonna be a pretty dish isn't that a beautiful pork loin? Look at that. Mmm. Can't wait to eat it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hit that like button if you like this recipe. Comment down below. What would you have changed? Let me know. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Thank you, as always. We will see you next time. Bye.